Hi, this is Paul. In our first After Effects tutorial, we went over the basic interface of After Effects. We also learned about some of the tools, the panels, and some of the concepts that we'll be using as we get further in our education of After Effects. We also created our very first composition, and within that composition, we created a square that moved from left to right over the course of about six seconds. Now, if we want to do anything with this composition, we'll need to learn how to export it, or as it's called in After Effects, render it. Rendering is integral to After Effects, and as your projects get more complicated, rendering's only going to take longer and longer, so it's important that you learn how to optimize your renders as best as possible. Now, to get to rendering, you have to do a little bit of a dance. What you're probably used to in a lot of other software is going up here to export. That's not what you want to do. What you'll first want to do is make sure your render queue is open. Now, that's going to be under the window menu here. We're going to go to render queue, and here it is. So render queue, as you can see right now, is empty. What happens in here is you will add compositions to this. And now you can do that a number of ways. One is you can simply drag a composition down here. Two is you can go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Or there's a key command, and it's Command Shift Backslash. And that will add whatever your foremost composition is to the render queue. In this case, I'm just going to drag it. And you can see it as a little entry here. Now I'm going to make sure it's checked to render. Oh, I don't have a destination yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a file name, output2. And now this is your regular save dialog. So I'm just going to call it tutorial and I'm going to save it as a quick time. That's perfectly fine. We're going to hit save. Log errors only is usually fine. And as you can see, now that I've given it a name, render is selected. That means this particular item will be rendered out to a file. Now the reason why this is a render queue is it's built to render multiple compositions at once. It's fine for rendering one thing, it's the only way to render one thing, but it's built to handle two, three, a dozen, a hundred different renders at any given time. You can also adjust what are known as render settings and output modules. These are a bit more advanced. If I click on this, you can see there's a lot of settings here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this for now since the default settings are fine for this, but I'll create a video later on that'll go over this in much more detail. Output module is very similar, but there's one option you'll want to be aware of. Output module lets you change the format. So if you don't want to go out to QuickTime, instead you want to go out to H.264, you'll select that here. Now you're always going to want to output video for at least these initial projects that you're working on. Occasionally you'll want to resize it, but in this case we're going to leave that be, same with cropping. What you should be aware of is if there's any audio in your project. Now After Effects isn't all that great with audio, but if there is any, you'll need to turn that on. By default, After Effects does not export or render audio. So turning this on gives you a high quality audio output. Now there's no audio in this project right now, so simply turning this on isn't actually going to do anything. So I'm going to uncheck it and hit cancel. And that's actually about it. So we've created our first entry into our render queue with our very first composition. So what we're going to do is go up here to the render button and we'll click it. And you can see we see a live preview up here and we see the render bar fly across. We can see it's up to about 500 frames and 20 seconds. Now, why is it taking so long? Now, why is the square just sitting at the end? Well, what happened was we have a 30 second composition, but only a six second animation. We only want to export, we only need to export and render those first six seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out here a bit, and I can do that with these mountains and this scroll bar. I'm going to zoom all the way out, so now we see the full 30 seconds in our timeline. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to adjust the work area to only be the first six seconds. Now, I can try and get it perfect and drag it right on top of that. Best way to do it, hold shift, and it'll actually snap to your keyframe. So now I'm going to add this composition once more to my render queue. In this case I'm going to use command shift slash, this is the key command I mentioned earlier, 
and it adds it to the render queue. So now you can see my previous render, which is done, is unchecked. There's not even an option to recheck it. And my new one is here. Now it's going to, by default, go to the same directory that I rendered my first one to. So it's at a little one there, so it doesn't overwrite it. And my best settings and my loss list for output and render uh, modules remain the same. So now I'm going to render it once more. Now you can see it's going a lot faster because it has only 180 frames to render instead of 900, and it's done. So that has created our first document. That's where I saved it. Documents, there we go. So now we have our first two renders. So the very first one is this. Here's our 720. And you can see the first six seconds look great, but then it just hangs out there at the very end. So here's our new one. And when we play it, it goes all the way to the end. And if we look at the play bar, perfect. So now we can bring this animation in to any project that we may be working on. So that is the render queue.